the Minn Kota Altera always fascinates people who have never witnessed the automatic stow and deploy features of an electric trolling motor. When combined with the Humminbird network compatible unit, these people marvel that it can stow and deploy, yet it can also be run from your depth finder. Brad will use this linked Humminbird Helix to begin the stow process for the Minn Kota Altera. I would like to extend a special thanks to Brad Royce for helping with this video. Here's the deploy feature. Anglers who have limited mobility or who appreciate the convenience factor will love this motor. When combined with the trim up and down features demonstrated here, this automated motor delivers anglers many advantages. Trolling enthusiasts who use the autopilot features while fishing big water like the Great Lakes will benefit greatly from the Altera. This motor is worth its weight in gold in rough water. Today's video will emphasize the long-awaited, re-engineered Minn Kota Altera Quest. The Quest series uses brushless technology in the lower unit. The brushed Altera will also be featured to a lesser extent in the video. You still have the option to purchase either Altera. The brushless Altera Quest will be quieter and have a longer life expectancy. Quest has up to 50% more torque plus a combined added thrust and new prop design to maximize power and speed. Fish longer with consistent power delivery along with real-time battery monitoring and eco mode. Battery monitoring will be displayed on a compatible networked Humminbird unit showing battery percentage and voltage. Similar to a cell phone, when battery percentage drops below 20%, the trolling motor will go into eco mode to conserve power. The brushed and brushless Alteras are one boat network ready. Moving forward, the terminology is changed from iPilot and iPilot Link to one boat network ready or advanced GPS navigation. If you want to think in older terminology, consider the new motor's iPilot Link standard. The redesigned head of the Altera Quest brushless model shown here has the iPilot link controller plus the Minn Kota heading sensor now built into the head unit. If you purchase a brushed Altera, you will still need to find a place to mount the Minn Kota heading sensor. Here's a quick comparison. The brushless head unit is on the left and the brushed head unit is on the right. Spotlock is available on all models of Altera. The Quest series is a combined 24 36 volt trolling motor. You can add a battery to make it 36 volts or you can take one away to make it 24 volts. Your choice. If you are running a 36 volt system and a battery fails, you can switch to 24 volts. It's that simple. The brushed Altera on the right is available in a 24 or 36 volt model. Brushed and brushless Alteras now come with all the necessary transducer and ethernet cables to hook up directly to a Helix, Solix, or Apex. This makes it simpler and more convenient and enhances the phrase one boat network ready. Trolling enthusiasts have long known the value of combining Minn Kota Autopilot to help steer and fine-tune trolling speeds in conjunction with a kicker motor. The increased speed available with the Altera Quest will open up new angling opportunities for spooky or pressured fish. A quiet brushless electric trolling motor without a kicker will give you a stealthy approach to present spoons at faster speeds. Musky trolling enthusiasts will also appreciate the extra speed to present baits in shallower water. This musky was caught by my buddy in 16 feet of water where a quiet electric motor approach may be the difference between landing a fish of a lifetime. The lower unit of the brushless Altera on the left is larger compared to the brushed Altera on the right. The prop mounting on the Quest has also been redesigned. A Quest trolling motor has the option of a dual-spectrum 2D chirp transducer shown here. The other option is the built-in mega side imaging transducer, which includes side imaging, down imaging, and dual-spectrum chirp. Here's another view of the mega side imaging that will show you how well constructed it is and the transducer being protected with the side imaging beams coming out the side 
and the down imaging and 2D beams coming out the bottom. The brushed Altera is available with the dual spectrum chirp transducer or the mega down imaging transducer built in. I am definitely a fan of the Humminbird mega side and down imaging. When selecting trolling motor options, I always get at least a built in mega DI transducer. This photo is a prime example of how down imaging can clarify an image. It's clearly a tree. The new wireless remote connects to the Altera and comes with both the Quest and brushed versions. It is a push button remote, not a touchscreen. The primary functions are spot lock with the anchor symbol top left, prop on, plus minus for speed, right left for steer, menu, go back button in the top right hand corner, cruise control, autopilot, with the arrow between two lines and three programmable one boat network buttons on the bottom. There is a one boat network side button as well, which is customizable, giving you a total of four programmable one boat network buttons. The on off switch is located under the one boat network side button. The wireless remote comes with a handy set of laminated instructions to keep as a reference in the boat. The wireless remote, one boat network app, or linked compatible Humminbird unit will enable you to run either model of Altera. The brushed Altera is available in 45 and 60 inch shaft lengths. It is not available in 72 inch. The Quest model on the left is available in shaft lengths of 45, 60, and 72 inches. The MKA60 bow mount stabilizer is included with the 72 inch Quest only. It is an option for 45 and 60 inch models. The 72 inch shaft also includes a coil cord slider to help protect the coil cord and accompanying wires. This is the mount indicator panel located on the back of the Altera Quest. The Quest has the power button, system status light, and stowed light on the back. The brushed Altera has a slightly different setup. It includes a power switch plus status and system ready lights. The system ready light is a clear indicator that it's ready. In the unlikely event the wireless remote or one boat network app are not working, you can manually stow your Altera by pressing and holding the power button for 10 seconds. The foot pedals for the Quest and brushed Altera are slightly different. The Quest foot pedal has a one boat network programmable button. The foot pedal indicator lights above the one boat network button show mode, one boat network, spot lock, and constant. You can customize the one boat network button using the wireless remote or one boat network app. The default setting is autopilot. You can choose to save a waypoint on a linked Humminbird unit or the deploy retract option for Raptors or Talons. Brushed Altera has an autopilot button located below the foot indicator panel showing autopilot, spot lock, mode, and constant. On both Altera models, the mode button determines whether the motor goes left, right, up, down, stows, or deploys. This next clip should give you a better understanding of how the mode button works. The mode button determines the functionality of the three bottom switches. In normal mode, the mode LED on the foot pedal indicator light is off. You will be able to steer left, right, and turn the prop on, off. In deployment mode, the mode LED will be on, the motor will be able to go up and down, the middle switch will stow or deploy. When motor is deployed, press the middle switch once to stow it. To deploy it, tap the middle switch twice. The Altera Quest can be set up for straight on deploy. You can choose the stow orientation with prop on the right or left as well. The brushed Altera footprint is smaller than the Quest. The Quest has a larger steering housing as you can see here. Here's a different perspective with the Quest on this side and you can see the brushed Altera on the far side. 
Here's a frontal view of the steering housing with the Quest on the left brushed on the right. The Altera Quest comes with a power prop only. On 24 volts you get 90 pounds thrust, on 36 you get 115 pounds thrust. The brushed Altera has 80 pounds of thrust on 24 volts and 112 pounds of thrust on 36. The engineers at Minn Kota have redesigned the Altera Quest so that there is an accessible quick release lever and quick release pin. In the event of a battery power issue or mechanical malfunction, Minn Kota has included a laminated set of emergency stow procedure instructions. Before pulling anything apart, don't forget to try the push and hold the power button for 10 seconds to manually stow the motor. At the bottom of the mount, below the tilt shaft and quick release lever, there are a set of instructions as well. The trim release lever is shown here in the middle. Here's how easy it is to manually trim the new Altera Quest. Lift up on the shaft, open the trim release lever, pull it up to the recommended height, and lock the lever. It's that simple. When using the trim release lever in the process of manually stowing the Quest, it recommends you leave 10 inches at the bottom. The 10 inches is going to be located from the top of here to the bottom as we come up here. That's where you leave the 10 inches. With the quick release lever opened up and the pin removed, you can begin the process of manually stowing the Altera Quest. There is a push button in the middle of the pin that will help you release it. Put the pin in a safe place where you will not lose it. With the quick release lever open and the pin removed, you can grab the shaft above the steering housing and grab the latch bracket handle and begin the process of manually stowing the Altera Quest. Make sure you trim up the motor, leaving 10 inches as we described earlier. We can now begin the process of manually stowing the motor. Brad will demonstrate the actual procedure of stowing the motor. Brad has the quick release pin out and grabs the shaft with his left hand and the latch bracket handle with the other to stow the motor. The basic final step is to open the trim release lever, pulling up the shaft so that it's manually stowed. Make sure that the trim release lever is locked and the motor is stowed so that it's secure. We have given you an outline of how to manually stow the Quest. In the event of an actual emergency stow procedure, please follow the laminated instructions step by step. Minn Kota also has salt water trolling motors available. The Riptide Instinct is the saltwater version of the Freshwater Altera Quest. It is available in a white or black color. It also has 90 or 115 pounds thrust and is available in shaft lengths of 60, 72, 87, and 100 inches and comes with a power prop. If you have any questions or comments about the new Alteras, I would love to hear them. As always, if you found the video enjoyable or helpful, a like, share, subscribe is always very much appreciated. Take care and bye for now.